Hello, everybody. Welcome to another great episode of Distilled, Brewed, and Reviewed. My name is John. This is the world-famous Sipping Den. I welcome you here. On this channel, I do everything that has anything to do with alcohol and coffee. Quite amazing, actually. I have a playlist that is out of this world. Makes it easy for you to find everything I review, all the categories. You just click on them. All those videos will pop up, and you will have a great time. And every video I do, I always pin the first comment because it has a link to the playlist that pertains to what I'm reviewing. In this case, bourbon whiskey. What kind of bourbon whiskey? We're gonna do Old Forester 1910. Here it is. So, it says 93 proof, Old Forester 1910. Um, what else does it say on there? In 1910, a fire on Whiskey Row in Louisville, a one mile stretch, in 1910, yeah. So between, uh, just to let you know, between the Civil War and Prohibition, there are over there were <laughs> over 80 businesses in that one mile stretch of Whiskey Row in Lexington, and 41 distilleries. It's crazy. Uh, anyway, in 1910, a fire in Whiskey Row led to Old Forester being rebarreled into heavily charred barrels. Hmm. Uh, this double barreled expression follows the same process as the original old fine whiskey. Um, they had a fire at the bottling line. And since they had to stop bottling whiskey that was already finished, right? They were bottling it, the fire at the bottling line. They had to store the whiskey somewhere. So they stored it in barrels again. They had to put it in some more barrels. Thus, they double oaked it. And that is the story behind uh, this be a little more exact. All right, well, uh, there's the color for you, huh? Let's get into it. Let's get into it. Tell you, I'm going to do you a treat, too. Um, it's got a nice color to it. It really does. That's dark, man. I don't know what the char level was on this. People think there's four. There's actually seven. Four that are mainly used. I know that Old Forester in general uh, uses a number three char. That is about 40 seconds under flame. This says heavily, heavily. Ch I don't know. But uh, no age statement. Um, it's at least four years old. Oh, it's got a nice flavor, uh, smell. Ooh. Wow, that's rich. That is rich. Wow, chocolate. Getting a, it's like a chocolate cola, like a, a cola, but chocolatey. It's very, mm, it smells like a piece of toast uh, with Nutella on it. Yeah, rich toast covered Nutella and drizzled with honey. Which is something I would eat. Absolutely. Toast, Nutella, some honey drizzle. Mm. Really is a little bit of cola. I'm even getting a little coconut. Let's give it a taste. I'm excited. I'm going to do the acclimation sip. Right? Cleanse my palate. Coat my mouth with this whiskey. Swallow it. Get rid of any flavors or taste that are in my mouth. The second one will go in. I always say I'm not going to judge the flavor over on the first one. A lot of flavor popping up, but let's ignore it, right? We're just resetting the palate. Now we'll go in. Now this is fun. That's good. That is now tasting like a chocolate-covered cherry candy. Dark chocolate, the cherry, you know, with the real gooey, just rushes out with the actual cherry in it. That's what this tastes is good. This is my dude. I've done the whole Whiskey Rose series. I have a whole play. You know what? The playlist, this ain't going to be in the bourbon place. I just remembered I have a separate Old Forester playlist. Wow. Now it's a very deep chocolate 
really a taste of chocolate cherry. I get a lot of cherry and bourbons. Vanilla cherry orange seems to be a thing. This is definitely chocolate covered cherry. Kiss of cola on the nose, not so much on the taste. Very rich chocolate. I love it. It's not real woody, considering it's double it's not dark. Mm. 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 Coconut. Since there's so much chocolate now, it tastes like one of those clusters with the coconut in it. The chocolate cluster candy with coconut. Chocolate cherry, chocolate coconut candy with the, wow, it's been a while since I had this, this is really good. Mm. I like a really good hot chocolate, I can't get over the amount of chocolate in here. Wow, this one's good. Candy, candy chocolate, cherry, coconut. Nice wood finish. That's where we're getting the coconut from. Oh, man, if you haven't had this 1910, man, I think it's about 54 bucks. I think. Might have went up. But I'll tell you what. I'm liking it. And I'm a little nervous because I like the wood for double oaked. And I'm about to compare this on the next video. This against the double oaked. And I'm thinking this is going to kick its butt, which I might have a new favorite. All right. I'll see you in a minute on the next one. Check out the old Forrester playlist. You're going to love it. wonder if I should put the old Forrester on by Brown Foreman. So is um, Woodford. Hmm. wonder if I should put them there. Well, I'll consider it. All right. Putting them on the same playlist. Anyway, check out the playlist. I'll, I'll check out the, all the playlists. You're going to be amazed, I promise you. And I'll see you on the next one.